Well, Chris, um, I, I know that we're kind of running a little bit low on time. And uh, I think there's a one really important point that, uh, you know, when you're managing uh, advanced stage patients for melanomas, and sometimes you need the team approach, right? You need radiation oncologists, you need a medical oncologists and sitting down and try to figure out, you know, what is the best modality? Should you try immunotherapy first or should you try radiation or combination at the same time? And who goes first? You know, all those discussion. And that's why I think uh, a team approach is very, very important. Uh, so Chris, again, thank you so much for taking the time and chat with us and uh, share all your insight about the research and the clinical aspect of it. And I certainly learned a great deal and uh, it, it's been fun. And I think love to invite you back and love to sort of talk a little bit more about various modality, various lotions and creams and sprays and type of thing to make the patient's side effect more tolerable. And uh, I think this is a one thing that uh, something that patients are really, really uh, fearful and anxious about when they're thinking about radiation. So, yeah, no, I, I, I agree with uh, all your sentiments. You know, we're constantly trying to do what we can to reduce any side effects of cancer treatment. You know, from my perspective, some of these are technical. They're the machines we use, the way that we plan and deliver the radiation. Yeah. But, you know, I think a lot of these, uh, you know, also to be aimed at biology and, you know, really kind of trying to target some of those mechanisms that are um, leading to the side effects that, that you and I've talked about today. Well, thanks again, Chris. Thanks again. Thank you my for pleasure. your time. Bye. Thanks. Bye, Steve.